Today, we're talking about why doing five turns is gonna make you throw farther. What's going on guys, Sean Donis back with a video today. No script, no outline, no nothing, just me spitballing with you guys so you can get the true, authentic Sean Don experience. So on Instagram recently, I have been posting a lot of uh, five turn throws, so of course I get a lot of people asking why are you doing five turns, Sean Don? Why are you doing such a thing? So like traditionally in competition, people normally use three turns or four turns like Sadiq and Limpinoff and everybody else. And uh, there's a very few number of people who use five turns in competition. I think the only one that really comes to mind is uh, this good old Marco Lingua of Italy, who I got to meet this past summer. He's actually uh, kind of like one of my idols. So it was, it was cool to meet him. He's just like a funny guy on Instagram. So go, go check him out, I guess. But yeah, so, so otherwise, why am I doing five turns? And uh, before I even get into why I'm doing it, this is not a competition technique at all. Like I'm not trying to do five turns in competition. What this video is about is why using uh, more turns than you're used to or uh, overturn drills or throws, whatever it might be, whether it's just doing sets of 10 turns or sets of 20 turns. Like I said, if you're used to doing two or three turns, maybe doing uh, four or five turns to help supplement your technique can actually be very beneficial. For me personally, using five turns is to help fix a couple of my own problems. So once again, this is contextual. This is what I'm using to help fix my problems. It might work for you, it might not, I don't know. Typically in my technique, at least during my, mostly 2016 and 2017, last year I got better at it, but even now I'm still trying to fix my third double support, or technically be fourth, I don't know, my third turn, my my penultimate turn, my penultimate double support before the finish uh, is generally too short. I, I pick up that right foot pretty early and the ball just barely gets past uh, maybe zero, 45 degrees, if that. And so that's a habit that I'm trying to break because I think I'm missing out on that very long double support that you really need, especially in the later turns to throw farther. So, so that's the first main point. And the second main point of why I'm doing five turns is because I also have the tendency to stand up through each turn. Uh, so I try to start low and I wanna, ideally I wanna stay there, but the tendency is to, for me at least, to stand up with each and every turn. And not saying that's a bad thing, That's part of the whole pendulum system and how you accelerate the hammer in, in, in some regards. But what happens to me most of the time, especially as I move on to throwing heavier hammers, is that my left leg straightens out more and more and more. And then as I come through the turn, I end up leaning, leaning more uh, counterclockwise. As I stand up more and more throughout these later turns, it also changes the timing and rhythm of the later turns, contributing to me kind of catching late or landing heavy on that right side. Usually I uh, end up having to bail a lot of throws because I do stand up too much and I usually end up also pulling off on the finish and pulling my left side away, which if you guys watch my Instagram videos, that's like nine finishes out of 10. So yeah, so the five turns or any sort of overturn drill, like I said, doing more turns than you're used to is a good way to kind of fix problems in your throat. Because I do say quite often, especially if you watch my technical analysis videos, that whatever goes wrong in early in the throw, so in, in the entry or in turn one or even turn two, gets magnified more and more as the throw goes on. So if you if you do one little thing wrong in the entry, it's gonna get worse in, in the first turn, it's gonna get worse in the second turn, worse in the third turn, and even worse in the fourth turn. And if you do five turns, once again, it kind of accentuates whatever problem you have going wrong in your throw. Like I said, my problem is I stand up too much and I really short double support. I pick that right foot up too early in the later turns. So by doing an extra turn or an extra two turns or an extra four turns, whatever it might be, doing more turns than I'm used to is a good way to teach myself the discipline needed to really smooth the whole throw out and do everything I want correctly for the entirety of the throw. So that's all it really comes down to is making the throw more challenging in a specific way. I guess that's kind of why I'm doing five turns. Like I said, I'm just trying to teach myself the discipline to stay down, keep that left leg bent, and keep that right foot on the ground nice and long, long double support. That's really all it comes down to. Like I said, it's just one drill of many that I do to help fix the technical problems that I'm trying to work on. Yeah, like I said in my hammer drill series video and blog, it all comes down to intention. So doing five turns or doing overturn drills may be good for you, maybe it won't be, but no matter what, if you choose to do them, make sure you understand your own intentions. Figure out why you wanna do it and what you're trying to fix what you're trying to accomplish by doing that drill. Don't just do it because Sean Don did it. So yeah, think for yourselves, children, and then we will make the world a better place. Thanks for watching. If you guys found value in this video and you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, share it with your teammates, drop a like down below and comment if you guys wanna see me break down other stuff like this on uh, 
other things I do in my training or other things other throwers do in their training. I can interpret what they're doing and uh, maybe stir the pot. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, sector foul? No, that's not me. I don't know why everybody thinks it's me. It's not. I'm not creative. So, all right. That's all I got for you. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, stay tuned for the next Sean Don Knowledge Bomb. Peace out. Hey, quit farting in here, man. Dude, I keep eating gluten and it f***s me up. I've farted at least 10 times a day and been disgusted with myself. Yeah, bro. They're, they're, not, they're not pleasant at all. No, not at all. Alright, time to film this YouTube video. Let's get this bread.